rules the human problem, rules the world, their world in that in this, in this sense. And I remember uh, the case that was made to Museveni in order for that law to pass, which I suspect is probably the same thing that was done in Nigeria. And as you mentioned, uh, it was a Christmas gift, which is a dead giveaway. Mm -hmm. So I think maybe it's important to really take a good look at religion and see how you can begin to grapple with that. At least recognize that they are the main adversary. Now, that's just one issue. We're uh, running out of time. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I also, uh, just to stretch it to uh, South Africa, I, uh, you mentioned curative uh, rape. I'm, I'm familiar with corrective rape. But is that the same issue? Yes. Yeah. Got it. And so what type of defense is there on the ground that we can support from here? Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take two more questions so that we can answer. Yeah. You want to go ahead? Hi, uh, my name is Vichy and I'm from Namibia, um, but I went to high school in Cape Town, South Africa. So the first time I encountered a gay couple was uh, two men, one dressed more feminine and the other was more masculine. Um, so over the years, the big question that people always asked was in a gay couple or in a lesbian couple, who is the man? and who's the woman. <laughs> and so I guess my idea, my question is, you know, we have these sort of ideas of masculinity and femininity, mm -hmm. and you can either be one or the other. And so do you think maybe in African culture where we're so strong about what a woman is and what a man is, do you think maybe that could also stem from that? And if so, how do we correct that or how do we change that? Mm -hmm. And then the last question. My name is Michael, I'm from Nigeria. I just uh, thank you very much, Kenny, and both of you guys are my great idols. Um, my questions are actually on, um, when we talk about vision, I mean, um, showing ourselves as, as African queer and gay, African gay in the media or in social media, as Africans, what kind of, looking from, from outside, what kind of vision do you want to see? Like, you, you mentioned, like, you want to see, uh, apart from uh, discrimination, phobia, pictures, you want to see yourself as a queer man or a picture of, of the two gay men naked or two lesbians naked. What kind of message do you think Africans will see from that? You, you, may, you, you talk about <coughs> when, 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 we, when people see those pictures of positivity or two lesbians and, and being naked. <coughs> I'm thinking that from the West, yes, they will see something different, but an African man, an African head social man will see something different entirely. He will see your promotion of homosexuality by showing such pictures. And at the same time, it's by showing ourselves, showing our, our uh, our community how they but at the same time it's it's between being negative and being positive. What kind of people do you want to see when we should pay such pictures of the world or to, to Africa and to Nigeria Nigeria to a village by Nigeria you see two gay men naked or two, two women naked. <coughs> what kind of thing you think they will see when they see that? <laughs> you <laughs> human beings in that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so as you're answering it, these are your last comments that before we get to one other cool cool. Um, to be honest, uh, we just want to change the systems in place because most of the time it's like the one thing. I was trying to do away with the negativity, which is why I said we need to change, we need to create a balance. And I didn't say uh, naked, I said intimacy, which applies to everybody. We all believe in love, we all love women in my case, and then men love women, sure. Um, in you know, uh, to tell the truth, we we have images that are dominating our lives that pass on wrong messages, which is why I said we need to create those positive images that speaks to us first, because we can't always rely on mainstream images that do not necessarily portray who we are, and we cannot always rely on mainstream media deciding on what should be in the covers of the magazines and when. The mystery media that talks about health, it's really not my reality. We have seen a number of images of advertisements of like a woman maybe showcasing her beautiful body and obviously when you read that image, it cannot be labeled as a woman <coughs> who happened to love other women as if I don't use those products that I use by the other women. So I just wanted to say, we create these images, how you want to see them as a straight person or the fellow Africans should be negotiated. But I won't always be thinking of 
who is looking at that image and what for. Depends who's the consumer. I'm producing from my community. And I'm not doing anybody a favor. This is about our lives. And we have a right to claim that right to be seen in a positive way. We are at work. We're working. We want to change the history. We want to change politics of how we are represented. We want to change how people look at us as we exist in different spaces. We use the same product. We pay the same taxes. When somebody collects our money, they don't say, don't collect the pink dollar, the pink red, whatever. It's the same money. So it just becomes too deep and political in that way. When I produce, I have to think of mainstream. Instead, what I do, I want to change how the mainstream looks at us. We want to change the literature. We want to change the history books. We want to change geographical areas that are there that says that Queers could cross these boundaries or we only exist once a year when there's gay pride. Mm -hmm. We are here 365 mm -hmm. days. Mm -hmm. Therefore, nobody is doing anybody a favor. Right. We are working. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying anything about <laughs> I just want to say that uh, we're, we're in different space and time between South Africa and Nigeria. It's not the same thing. Um, and that's why we have to be sensitive to the people we're talking about. Uh, South Africa's democracy is different from Nigeria's democracy. Uh, we're just experiencing democracy for the first time after a long time. And so uh, I wish we could say, just the way she said, oh, we need to live our life. We need to do it because we need to do that. You do that in Nigeria, in the morning you're done. You know, and that's what happened to David Kido in Uganda. That's what happened to a few other people. So I think as activists, we need to balance, you know, uh, this dynamics of culture uh, wherever we find ourselves. But I'm for speaking out. I'm for visibility. I know a lot of gay, but queer people who are like, no, you can't speak out. But I think I agree that we need to be visible, but we need to be sensitive to the culture around us so that we can include, not exclude. Because a lot of times as activists, we fight a lonely fight where we try to say it's all about my voice, I want to talk. But we need to see to get allies, we need to get people to, with us. Because we can't fight this battle all by ourselves. But yes, we need to do our stories, we need to tell it the way it's supposed to be, with no apologies to anyone. It's quite evident at the end of this discussion that we have a lot more questions uh, that we want to ask and ways in which uh, I think we are experiencing uh, the, the nature of uh, African democracies uh, is very different. The possibilities that exist in different spaces are different. The resources we may have uh, as well, whether those are human resources or financial resources or political resources in terms of the kinds of allies we can we can draw on are uh, very different across this diverse <coughs> continent. But I do think that what's exciting and, new and fresh uh, is that we're in a moment of, uh, of rewriting. Um, and all of you are part of that process. So thank you very much for the, for the work that you do. Um, I hope that you will all uh, buy books that are outside, uh, wait for Kehinde's memoir to come out. I think it will be really interesting. Go and see uh, Zanelli's uh, exhibition in Brooklyn uh, and follow Binyavanga, who writes very beautifully uh, about Africa and its daily politics, not just on queer politics, but all kinds of uh, challenges to the project of naming ourselves as African. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much to the panel and thank you all for coming.